All right, how's it going, guys? Dogs here, and today we got something special. I'm gonna try to create a tier list uh, based on based on the freaking uh, thumbnail of this video. You already know, but I'm trying to make a tier list of champions that I think are the most fun and. Yeah, League should be only about having fun, like, who cares about rank? If you are like the sweaty guy who plays ranked only and doesn't talk to his friends because they are silver 2 and you are platinum 4, yeah, kinda suck it, right? But, any whozel, uh, we created, we created 5 tiers, S+, which is super fun, A, which is awesome, B, Bing Chilling, yes, Washama Bing Chilling, C, uh, Kankeros, and D, don't ever play this. And yeah, this is only based on my on my experience from the game. And I'm gonna try to re uh, like explain why I think the champ is super fun or uh, is super bad. So yeah, let's uh, just get right into it. First, we got, we're gonna go alphabetically, by the way. We got a lot of champions to cover, so I'm gonna try to make it quick and simple. Uh, just so you don't have to really watch this video for one hour. So Aatrox. Um, Aatrox, I don't think Aatrox is a lot of fun. I'm gonna put him in a seat here on the Kankeris. Because, first of all, Aatrox is very hard, especially for new players. It's very hard to hit the combos completely right. And if you fail just one part of it, uh, you won't get the experience. So that is that. Now, let's move on. We got Ari. I think Ari is gonna be in like a bing chilling tier since and i'm only putting her there since the new static shift she is a lot of fun like if you put static shift on her even though it's nerfed for the wave tier and like the fact that it gives you the ability to roam even more i'm gonna say bing chilling tier same goes for akali if you hit those combos if you know what you are doing she can be fun but yeah i mean I've seen from my place and from other people's place that Akali is kind of yeah in a, in a very bad spot, to be fair. Now, I'm going to go ahead and mark Akshan. Where do I, where do I even put him? I'm going to like B or C. B or C. I'm going to put him in uh, like a B because if you can hit those long range hooks, if you if you can hit all spells and if you can snowball, this champion is a lot of fun to play. And you can also build him AP, which is um which is something I have to take in consideration when playing for fun. Now, uh, moving on to Alistar. Alistar, I'm gonna put him in A. This is the first awesome champion. Not only he is a super strong tank. But the fact that he got buffed like four times in a row in the last patches, you can build him AP and it used to be meta, now it's not. And if it's not meta and it works, I'm gonna always say very well done. So yeah, A tier for obvious reasons, he can go AP. Now this is Aphelios passive. <laughs> I'm not sure why it's even here. This is Aphelios passive, so yeah, don't ever play this because you can't. And now moving on to... Amumu. Amumu definitely an S plus tier. First of all, this champion is super easy to play if you are going for a tank in the jungle. And he is also super duper fun if you are going uh if you are going full AP and one shotting everyone because his AP scaling is absolutely ridiculous. Like especially against squishies. Now, Anivia, I'm gonna put her in the B tier. And only, only because it can be fun if you block your own teammates with your wall. I've done it, Gods has done it, and I'm pretty sure everyone, everyone who is playing or whoever played Anivia at least once did it. Like, you can stop your teammates' teleports, and even though it's kind of end, uh, it's a lot of fun if you play together with your friends. Now, any... Uh, I'm gonna put her in C, just because... I would put her in D tier, but uh, I would say... The only fun part about this is when you are fat and you just one-shot everyone and there is no counterplay to it. If you flash ult on someone, yeah, good goodbye. Just pretty much goodbye. Aphelios, I'm going to put him in B. Actually, I'm going to put him in A. Aphelios is very hard champion, like one of the hardest in the game, I think, because you need to know the correct rotation of the weapons. And the weapons are kind of hard to manage, especially in team fights. So, yeah, A tier. He is very strong. He's a lot of fun to play, especially like with those uh, Chakrams and Sniper Rifles. Then you can snipe them from distance. Not too bad. Ash, obvious S. You can build her Lethality, you can build her um, AD, like a normal ADC. You can go AP 
and like the cooldown and AP build combined, I think is a lot of fun when you snipe every 20 seconds with your ult in the late game. It's just, it's just mwah, mwah, chef's kiss. Now Aurelion, since the rework, I'm gonna put him in A tier. Um, the champ is super broken, like scale wise, it's insane. Absolute insanity. Now Azir, even though he got buffed, don't play him. If you know how the combos how the combos work, it can be fun, but the champion is so hard to manage because you need to not only care uh, about yourself or about the Azir especially, but about his soldiers as well, and it's kind of hard to play. Now, um, Bard, B tier, you can go AP, you can go full mega speed, and you can troll people with your tunnels, like create a tunnel for them to think that you're escaping and yeah you're just not escaping and you let him walk through the tunnel and you are safe to sound safe and sound yeah that's fine blitzcrank obvious s plus tier super fun super fun to play is especially if you go for ap build you can pretty much one shot everyone with just hook ult and yeah play them play him on mid lane try to play him on mid lane let let the let the wave push into you and try to hook them under the turret. It's so much fun when it works. Like it will work only once or twice in a game because uh, after that enemies will enemies will like understand that you are yeah like your your motive of what you are doing. But I'll say S plus for sure. Now brand ah uh, it's not fun. It's OP but it's not fun. I'm gonna put it in C tier. It's like super strong but nah. Super strong, but now Brown. I'm gonna put him in B tier simply because you can go like Hail of Blades on hit and work with your passive. That is fun on the top lane sometimes, but again, you have to have a good uh, enemies against you. Caitlyn, always S plus. Again, you can go lethality. You can go like one shot build with your ult. I've done it many times. I'm pretty sure you've seen these videos. S plus, 100%. And of course, you can go normal standard build, which is all strong as well. Now, Camille, even though Camille is my one of my favorite champions, I'm gonna put her in B tier, simply because the only fun part is when you are super giga fat and you one-shot tanks with the true damage. Now, Cassiopeia, gonna put her in C, very strong champion, not, uh, not a lot of fun, not a lot of fun to play. I understand that some of you will disagree with this, but I think... Non-biased opinion, it is actually super fun. Now, moving on to the better things. Cho got an S++ tier. You can go full tank, have 15,000 HP. Nobody can kill you and you will burn them with Sunfire Titanic. Or you can go AP and you will just one-shot them with every single Q. You've seen both of these uh, in-game on my videos. You'll probably try those as well. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Corky, not a big fan. I'm only I'm only fan of Corgi because of the skins. Like the the dog, the Corgi, Corgi skin is pretty solid, pretty solid. So I'm gonna put him in like uh, I don't think he deserves a C. I think Bing Chilling is good. Darius again B. Not a lot of skill needed. The champion is very strong and like you will obviously spot a good Darius per against the bad Darius player. I, for myself, think I am the bad player. Godzo, on the other hand, is like, uh, he would put him in S plus 100%, but uh, I think Ding Chilling is, is his place. Diana, again, uh, C tier. Very strong champion, so much fun to play, uh, but nah. Now, Draven. Draven might be questionable. Some would put him in D, some would put him in S. I'm gonna say he is like in between, in between those two, I'm gonna say a B tier, like A tier is, no, 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 he's not A tier, but he's super fun to play because he's scaling so hard, like having three items when the enemies have one, that's nice, that's nice, you will one shot everybody with every single Q. Okay, Mundo, definite, definitely an S+. plus. Like the fact that the, this champion can have 600, 650, 700 AD and have like what? 10,000 HP. How is this even legal? How is this legal? Absolutely disgusting. Echo, again, strong champion, a lot of outplay potential. All in all, I would say not much fun. Same goes to Elise. Evelyn, I'm gonna put her in B, even though it's my like go-to jungler. Evelyn is super, super strong. It's a lot of... Mm, maybe I put her in A tier. Since, since she is a lot of fun to play, 
you are in this all the time and if enemies are bad or if you know if you know how to uh, work with the map how to move they will not be able to spot you and it's super satisfying to see adc's rage their ass off when you want to them with the full combo beautiful beautiful now Ezreal s plus simply because you can build him like five five different ways you can go full ap max e and w you can go on hit effect you can go the standard like uh, anti-tank build with frozen heart and uh, i mean with divine thunder and frozen heart yeah pretty good pretty solid now is fiddlesticks fun to play yes he is i'm gonna put him in eight here like scaring them from the distance like jumping over the wall fearing five people and sucking the life out of them <laughs> super nice <coughs> <coughs> okay stop cosplaying stop cosplaying the fiddlesticks because <laughs> that is not the best that is not the best now fiora c tier not a lot of fun to play very strong champion fizz on the other hand i'm gonna put him in b there is a lot of fun uh if you are going for like if you are going for like an uh a lot of ability haste and you can jump every two seconds yeah it's fun it's fun and obviously if this monster get unleashed a lot of potential damage coming your way now galio i would put him in d tier but he is a very good team player like a team champion so i'm gonna put him in c it's strong if you are playing like a clash or a flex with your friends that could work that could work moving on to gp gp i'm gonna put him in b again uh, not only not only because i mean it's a lot of fun to play again it's a hyperscaling champion he can have four items when you have two or one and a half it's strong it's strong obviously satisfying if you hit the barrels and one shot everyone same goes to garen again super noobish champion i advise all of you who are in bronze iron silver gold even platinum spam this champion it's so easy to play and it's so rewarding look you can like, split push waves in matter of one second with Star strike breaker and e very good very good uh nar i'm gonna put him in b is he fun to play yes he is if you are playing ap or if you are playing on hit because <coughs> his w passive scales from ap and it gives you a lot of extra damage so i'm gonna put him in b um gragito the fat man I'm gonna put him in B because only because he is very very handsome. It's the most beautiful, most beautiful champion in the game, like um, shape wise, obviously. So Gragito being chilling, a lot of fun to play. Uh, but yeah, only AP build. Now Graves, I'm gonna put him in B. It's uh, no, I'm gonna put him in C. Like. Fun wise, it's not very fun, not, not a funny champion. It's very strong if you know what you are doing. Same goes to Gwen, without a doubt. Hecarim, it's I'm gonna put him in B simply because he is super fast. And maybe even A. I'm gonna put him in A because if you are going for the movement speed like Deadman's Plate, uh, Blue Jungle Item, Ghost, Yomus, like man, you have 1000 speed and like there's nothing they can do about that. Heimerdinger, don't ever play this. No, no. Ilaoi, strong but not fun. Strong but not fun, I would say. Same goes to Irelia. Ivern, ah, uh, nah, don't play this. I mean, don't play it. Nah, nah. The, the champion is not fun. Even though the Daisy is like awesome and she's strong right now. Jenna, nope. Jarvan, you can go Lethality and one shot everyone. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him in B tier. Jax, Kanker, nope, don't play, no, don't play him, don't, don't play, him. No, I mean, you can play him if you want to climb, but again, we are talking about fun, right, so, nope, absolutely not, Jace, is Jace fun, no, he is not, Jin, obvious A, the four shot, everything with the four, works it works it's a lot of fun you can go lethality you can go full crit and you know if you have uh 12 uh, 1280 you know you will be doing damage jinx nope c tier kaisa kaisa i'm gonna put kaisa in uh, i'm gonna put her in s and i'm gonna explain you can go you can go lethality you can go on hit like a standard adc build but you can go ap with first strike 
and boy oh boy you've seen those videos she is OP she is strong as heck very slow start very rewarding late game and if you can just one shot somebody with two two hits from your W you know it's fun and you know they are raging their ass off Kalista mm, nope Karma nope definitely not fun Cartus uh... No, it's it's not even fun if you one shot everyone across the map now. Kasadin, it's not fun. Katarina. Fancy combos, but still a C tier. Kale. Kale, I'm gonna put her in B. Kale is fun. You can go AP AD or hybrid, whatever. And the champion is just OP. Kane, obvious A. You have blue cane, the red cane. You have a purple cane if you go for a red cane with blue items. It works. It works all the time. Even though Kane is not very strong right now in the meta, it is definitely a lot of fun. Kanan, the electric boy, uh, not fun, don't play this. Kazix, C tier. Kindred, C tier. Kled is a lot of fun, I'm gonna put him in B. It's like for me, it's fun, you know, diving, diving somebody, going off your little horse, your little lizard or whatever, and not taking the turret shots. It, it's, it's rewarding if you pull it off. Kogma, Ah, uh, I mean, Kogma is fun to play, but not that much. LeBlanc, if you know what you're doing, I'm gonna put him in B tier. If you know what you are doing, then sure, you can go ahead. It's fun if you can uh, jump across the Ws and ults. Sure. Listen, I'm gonna put him in B tier simply because if you know how to do a, like a flash kick or the standard insect, it is fun if you pull it off and like if you hit insect on like four people you know you had fun i mean come on man come on leona i'm gonna put in an eight tier if you are not playing her support though support yeah it's boring it's strong but it's boring if you are playing her ap it's super fun if you are playing her as a full tank bruiser like sunfire and iceborne gauntlet titanic hydra it can work man it can work her W blocks a lot of damage, so you are super, super, super duper tanky. Same goes to Lilia. Lilia is fun to play because she cannot be caught. She cannot be caught. Like, you cannot catch her. And that's basically it. Lissandra, boring. Lucian. Nah. If you, if you, like, this, this, oh, uh, this freaking tear graph is for fun, right? Lucian is not much fun. He is not very strong right now, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Lulu, you can go on hit Lulu, so A tier. A tier is lo like, it's so much fun when support just one shots everybody. Same goes to Lux, one shotting power, but I'm gonna put it on B tier. Malphite, obvious S. You can go full AP, destroy everyone, or you can go full tank and still destroy everyone because your damage scales from uh, armor. So yeah, there we go. Malzahar should have another rank under the D tier. And that would be F tier, and that would be a uh, fuck off. And yeah, so if you are playing Mazahar, you are noobish. Uh, Malkai, let's go B. You can go AP build. It was OP once in a jungle, right? Master tier, nope. Not a lot of fun. Misfortune is a lot of fun, so I'm gonna put it in A. Misfortune is good. You can go Lethality, you can go Crit, you can go AP as well. So there we go. Mordekaiser. B. Even though you can go like the full heal or full shielding uh, Mordekai, it's not very strong. But it's a lot of fun. I mean, I, I've done some remarkable videos with Mordekai. So, B tier it is. Now, Morgana. Morgana, Morgana. I'm gonna put her in B. Only because you can root everyone for 10 seconds. Nami, nope. Not fun. Nasus is a lot of fun. Just basically, you are stacking, 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 and like you on the lane, you are weak as hell. You are weak as fuck. But there comes the time when you can actually, with the ult, you can turn the fights around, even on the lane, and that's where the enemies found out. Find out it's too late for them, and they are lost. Now Tulus, I'm gonna put him in S plus. So much fun going AP. So much fun going like a full tank on a mid lane. Has a lot of. Freaking like the hooks are always fun, right? Hooks are always fun. Nico, I'm gonna put her in A. You can troll with it, and if it works out, like being a minion, being a ward, being a blasting, uh, blasting the red thingy. I don't know what it's called. That's a lot of fun. Try that. 
Nidali, obvious A, if you hit a long range spear. Man, oh man, it's satisfying. God damn it. That's good. That's good. Nocturne, nope, not a lot of fun. Nunu is a lot of fun. I'm gonna put Nunu in A tier. Um, he's he's a lot of fun to play, especially if you are going AP. Being the, like the Kesha, screaming the freak out of it. Olaf, not a lot of fun. Oriana, nope, don't, don't play Oriana. Orn could be fine, but nah, C tier, C tier. Pantheon, super OP. I'm gonna put him in B because you can go like the one shot delete with Prowler, Blade of the Ruin King, uh, press the attack, and the Empower W will just delete everybody. Poppy, again, B tier. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to like stop everyone from jumping. Like Kazix, Rengar, Fiora, whatever. You can counter like 50% of these champions. Like it's insane. It's insane. And it's a lot of fun when they just bonk into your wall. Pike. Ah, see. Kwayana, nope. Quinn is not a lot of fun. Rakan. AP Rakan is good. B tier. Ramos is a lot of fun. If you are up against like full AD team. That's good. That's good. That's good. Rek'Sai, not a lot of fun. Rel, mm, no. Renata, nope. Renekton, nope. Rengar is a solid B. Riven, not a lot of fun. High risk, high reward. If you know how to play this champion, it's good. But C tier. Rumble, is Rumble fun? I mean, you are cooking them, right? You are cooking them and Rumble is a lot of fun if you play them once in a while. Rice, nope. Rice is not fun. Samira is C tier. Sejuani, you can go AP, so I'm gonna put her in B tier again. Oh, it looks like you're actually filling up the B tier a lot. Senna, it's not fun. That's not fun. Seraphine, not fun. Set is all right. Shaco, AD Shaco, AP Shaco, obviously works both, so A tier, and you can troll them. If you are good at trolling people with Shaco, you are having a lot of fun. Also, you might be like a pedo, but you know that's <laughs> it comes and goes now um shivana not a lot of fun <clears throat> for some reason we have silco here so put him in d sage sage uh c tier man this one is an sign is an obvious a you can go lethality you can go tank even though the prowler got removed like the dash it's still, it's still fire. It's still fire, dude. Severe, nope. Not fun. Scanner, not fun. Sona, not fun. Soraka, B tier because you can go full crit. I mean, you can go full crit on everyone, right? But on, Sor on Soraka, it kind of works. Kind of works. Is Swain fun? No, he's not. Silas could be fun if you are stealing good ults. I'm gonna put him in B for that. Syndra, OP, but not really fun. Tom Kench is good. I'm gonna put Tom Kench in A. You can go full AP, you can go full tank, and the licks are deadly. The licks are deadly. Talia, nope. Talon, nope. Tarik, nope. Timo. Ah. Timo, A tier. Timo must be A tier. You can go AP, you can go crit. You can go like a tankish build as well with the Grasp, Titanic, and whatever. Thresh. Oh boy. Thresh. Solid S tier. AP Trash, awesome. One shot Trash, even better, man. Even better. Like, Gale Force and E with 100% crit, stacked up E. That's a one shot every single time, and it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. Tristana, I'm gonna put her in B tier. It's fun to just jump in on somebody's head level two and destroy them. Like, her power spikes are absolutely insane. Trundle, not fun. Trindamir, not fun. Twisted, not fun. Twitch. Between C and B, I would say. Let's go C. Odir, nah. Urgot, nah. Varus, S. Obvious S. Obvious S. Man, AP Varus slaps hard. Level 16 AP Varus with three items. Can delete everyone. It can, he can delete full tank Cho. He can delete full tank uh, Dr. Mundo. Every single one of them. Vayne. I mean, C. Sure. Vegar is solid A. Solid A, like having fun with the ultimate scaling and one-shotting everyone later on. 
and eh, that's satisfying. That's satisfying. Same goes to this guy, but I'm gonna put him in B tier. Vex, not a lot of fun. Diego could be fun. Like you are playing five champions at once, right? That's good. That's good. Victor, not fun. Vi, C, Vladimir is not fun. Polybar, ah. Maybe C. Warwick, you can go A, P, A, D. Super speed, so solid A. Wukong, C tier, you can, uh, you know, fake somebody with your W clone. Zaya is not fun. Zerat, C tier again for the one shots. Xin Zhao, man. Xin Zhao, solid A. Solid A. He can go AP. He can go Bruiser. He can go like um, Assassin. Yeah, works. That works. Yasuo, obviously. Not very obviously, but C tier. I don't like playing him. Yon, I like to play a little bit more. I think there is a lot of outplay potential with Yon. Uh, like as well with Yasuo, but you know. Yorick, C tier, like split pusher. Screw that. You maybe don't even have to talk about it. Zek, solid A with the AP build. I've recently put out the video where I have 1300 AP. And believe me, it is fun. Believe me, it is fun. Zed could be fun. B tier. A lot of like skill gap potential. Zeri, AP Zeri. Always thinking about it, so B tier. Zix. Zix is a lot of fun. Like, it's so much fun to just blast the turrets down. Like, imagine, it's, just, it's an AP champion who can destroy the turrets with like a single single spell. Absolutely hilarious. Zillion, I'm gonna put him in C because he can like make other champions fun. But all in all, nah. Not very good. Don't play Zoe. And finally we have Zyra. Zyra, Zyra. Ah, nah, don't play this. It's not fun. It's bullying. Like on the lane, it's bully lane. But later on, it's kind of hard to play. So yeah, there goes my tier list. I understand that there are not many champions uh, in this one because uh, the tier is kind of like, you know, not updated. But yeah, here we are. In the S+, plus, we have Amumu, Ash, Blitzcrank, Caitlyn. Do I want to make some last changes? Last changes. Uh, probably not. Probably not. Well, guys, let me know if you agree with me if those champions are fun, and if I made some mistakes, prove me wrong in the comment section. I um, hope you enjoyed this kind of video, and I'm telling you, play these champions, play like these S+, plus and A awesome, and you will have fun. You will have fun. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed, and let me know in the comments what do you think about it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.